the students. In the last video, we had seen how to write the content inside the XML file. And we had created one XML file with my name only as abide.xml in D drive. And we had written the content inside it, even if we had seen also what contents are written. So this is the output which we had received with the help of that first program. Now what we are interested, we are interested in reading the content from the XML file and that content need to be displayed. So I will take two different ways for displaying the output. For displaying the output, I am creating the new web form. And on this web form, I am interested in taking a grid view and one button. So when the user clicks on a button, the contents of the XML file must be displayed on a grid view. How to go about it? First, I just try to display the text as read and display on grid. And I'm writing a simple code for it. The code is, as you are interested in taking the data from the XML, so I'm taking the class named as XML data source. First, do not forget to import the namespaces as using system.io, sorry, as well as using system.xml. Moving ahead, we had created an object of XML data source. Maybe I had given the name of the object at ds equal to then providing new XML data source. I need to specify the file from which the data should be loaded. So ds dot, I'm having a method load. No, I'm having a method called a property called as data file. So how do you come to know this is property or method is simply and this is termed as a property. This is called the method. So this is the method, uh, this is the property and property always shows you get and set. Properties can be assigned a value by using equal to. So I'm using ds dot data file equal to the file. Now, a file is inside a D drive with the name as abide.xml. And this file, which has been linked with the XML data source, must retrieve the contents and pass the content inside a grid view. So, just provide grid view one dot data source equal to your XML data source object name, that is DS. And then go for binding a data that can be done by using grid view one dot data bind. This can be example shown by you for multi value binding. So I run this page. Let's see whether we are getting the appropriate output or not. So when I give a click on a button, what it does, it will be reading the data from the XML file and that contains are displayed on your grid. But sir, this has been done by using XML data source. I would like to read the content from the XML uh, text writer. Then how to go for reading the content? There are many options which have been available. I am just taking a smaller one for you. So for doing it, okay, I am completing the code in the same, same button click. But just for displaying the output, I am taking one label. And on this label, the output will be displayed. So first what I am doing, I am just uh, clearing the label by saying label one dot text equal to blank next part is opening the file so i'm doing simple xml text reader then i require to create an object name and maybe creating the object name as reader equal to new xml text reader and inside the xml text reader you need to provide the stream input or you can provide the string URL. I am interested in providing the string URL. So the file name is what abide.xml inside the D drive. The task has been completed. The reader object has been initialized. The next is what? Now I would like to iterate till the time all elements are not getting over. And the attribute values I would like to retrieve and display. So I'm using a simple while loop by saying while reader rot read. It means go on reading the content till the time all elements are not being completed. What I want, uh, first take the name, then take the age and display it on the label. 
so I'm providing label one dot text. Earlier value of label one must be concatenated with what reader dot get attributes in the bracket name is attribute as well as label one dot text plus equal to reader dot get attribute. Uh, the attribute name is what age. Then after that I would like to add up a break line break. So I am providing label one dot text plus equal to br. Fine. Then I would like to close this particular reader class object by providing reader dot close. So the file which has been opened that has been closed. Now I am just giving a click on execution of project. Now the same button will be binding the data to the grid view also and the same button will be displaying the data on the label also, right? So this is a simple way by which it is possible for you to go for reading the content from the XML file. There are many several methods are there. You can understand a node type, you can understand a node name, you can check and iterate between a document. There are many other options are also been available. But right now for this practical, this much has been expected. That has been explained. Join our classes for learning something better in dot time. Thanks a lot students.